Miami coach Manny Diaz was fired today, and Mario Cristobal is now leaving Oregon to become Miami's head football coach, sources told ESPN. Why would he leave Oregon for Miami? Because that's his place, man. He has ties there. He played there. He knows it. The recruiting area, South Florida. He can crush it there. I mean, this is the perfect hire. It's a, it's a basically a reunion of sorts, right? And if Miami can get Clemson athletic director Dan Radakovich to come over there, you're looking at two people in positions to really bring the U back. Now, I, I have to say this though: the way Miami treated Manny Diaz through this Man. process was horrific embarrassing. I mean, just downright cruel. While they're trying to figure out what's going on with Mario Cristobal, Diaz is out there recruiting. I mean, I just, I'm, I'm floored at the way Miami handled this, and people were just, you know, rightfully crushing the U all day yesterday over it. But now we find, now we got to figure out who Oregon's next coach is, right? You, hey, for Matt, sure. Matt, yes. You know what I'm glad about, to Heather's point? It, it, with Brian Kelly as well. I'm glad we all realize that this is a business now. I'm glad we could stop having the conversation about the student athlete and the NCAA and amateurism. This is a business, and this is the ugly side of it. This is what they didn't want to get out about college football, the backdoor meetings, the pre to who we know we're trying to get, understanding that coaches are not just guys looking to lead young players. They also are guys looking to put eight, nine figures in their bank accounts as well. So I'm glad we are no longer under that impression in college football and everybody understands what it is on every single level. Great on the NIL, great on the things that have been exposed in this particular situation. It's been going on. I'm just glad we all know it now. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.